Peace be upon you, Altair. How may I serve you? I've done as asked and learned all I need to know about my prey. Then you must share your knowledge with me. Abu Naqud is corrupt to the core and despised by his own citizens as a result. It appears he's been stealing money meant for the people of Damas and spending it on himself. Even as we speak, he flaunts his greed, preparing for a lavish party. His guards and servants should have their hands full dealing with the guests. They won't even know I'm there. Most impressive, my friend. The others said you'd make a mess of things, but not I. No, I was sure you'd come through, and come through you have. The Bureau is yours to do with as you please until you're ready to begin. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Your presence annoys me. Must be made to pay. Everywhere they ride, they leave only suffering in their wake. They say. Come on, come on. I'd like to see. Welcome, welcome. Thank you all for joining me this evening. Please eat, drink, enjoy all the pleasures I have to offer. Take your time, I will wait. I trust everything is to your satisfaction. Good, good. It pleases me to see you all so happy. For these are dark days, my friends, and we must enjoy this bounty while we still can. War threatens to consume us all. Salah Adin bravely fights for what he believes in, and you are always there to support him without question. It is your generosity that allows his campaign to continue. 
So, I propose a toast then. To you, my dear friends, who have brought us to where we are today. May you be given everything you deserve for it. Such kindness! I didn't think it in you! You, who have been so quick to judge me, and so cruelly. Oh, do not feign ignorance! Do you take me for a fool? That I have not heard the words you whispered behind my back. Well, I have, and I fear I can never forget. But this is not why I called you here tonight, no. I wish to speak more of this war and your part in it. You give up your coin quick as can be, knowing all too well it buys the deaths of thousands. You don't even know why we fight. The sanctity of the Holy Land, you'll say, or the evil inclination of our enemies. But these are lies you tell yourselves. <laughs> no, all this suffering is born of fear and hate. It bothers you that they are different, just as it bothers you that I am different. <sighs> Compassion, mercy, tolerance. These words mean nothing to any of you, mean nothing to those infidel invaders who ravage our land in search of gold and glory. And so I say, enough! I've pledged myself to another cause. One that will bring about a new world, in which all people might live side by side in peace. Hmm. A pity none of you will live to see it. <laughs> Kill anyone who tries to escape. Be at peace now. Their words can no longer do harm. Why have you done this? You stole money from those you claim to lead. Sent it away for some unknown purpose. I want to know where it's gone and why. Look at me. My very nature is an affront to the people I ruled. And these noble robes did little more than to muffle their shouts of hate. So this is about vengeance, then? No, not vengeance, but my conscience. How could I finance a war in service to the same god that calls me an abomination? If you do not serve Salah din's cause, then whose? In time, you'll come to know them. I think perhaps you already do. Then why hide? And why these dark deeds? Is it so different from your own work? You take the lives of men and women, strong in the conviction that their deaths will improve the lots of those left behind. A minor evil for a greater good? We are the same. No, we are nothing alike. Ah, but I see it in your eyes. You doubt. You cannot stop us. We will have our new world.
Word has reached me of your success, Altair. Abu Nakud's reign of terror is at an end. I'm glad to hear it. He killed them. The men and women at his party. It was poison. A coward's tool. Blamed them for the war. Said he wished to end it. Strange. But then again, the Merchant King was known to be a bit... different. Perhaps this was simply a symptom of his madness. Perhaps. You sound unconvinced. Speak with Al-Mualam then. He may offer a better explanation. Yes. We'll see what he has to say. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Entering a strong attack will leave your enemy vulnerable. Finish him by breaking his legs, or by throwing him to the ground. Come, Altair. Speak with me a moment. As you wish. Word has reached me of your success. You have my gratitude and that of the realm. Freeing these cities from their corrupt leaders will no doubt promote the cause of peace. Can you really be so sure? The means by which men rule are reflected in their people. As you cleanse the cities of corruption, you heal the hearts and minds of those who live within. Our enemies would disagree. What do you mean? Each man I've slain has confessed strange words to me. They are without regret. Even in death they seem confident of their success. Though they do not admit it directly, there is a tie that binds them. I'm sure of it. There is a difference, Altair, between what we are told to be true and what we see to be true. Most men do not bother to make the distinction. It is simpler that way. But as an assassin, it is your nature to notice, to question. Then what is it that connects these men? Ah, but as an assassin, it is also your duty to still these thoughts and trust in your master. For there can be no true peace without order, and order requires authority. You speak in circles, master. You commend me for being aware, then ask me not to be. Which is it? The question will be answered when you no longer need to ask it. I assume you called me here for more than just a lecture. <laughs> Very well. A rank and weapon are again restored to you. Two more leaders remain. Go and see to it that their rule is ended. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Students, is how we all should fight. You must be busy. I understand. 